here at the Galleria. We are live with one of our favorite people, Tangie Patton. Tangie, hey you always have some of the most beautiful things. Today is National Dessert Day, yes. and you have outdone yourself. Well, and I'm one of your favorite because when I come, there's always wine. <laughs> yes, there's always great food and great wine. I also yeah, want to let folks know takers. your host of Good Taste with Tangie that yes. does air right here on KPRC Channel 2. You That's are a right. food and wine expert, so let's start diving into the okay. desserts. I want to remind everybody, set your DVRs right now because our show's on early Sunday mornings on your station. <laughs> 5.30 a.m. Set the DVRs. Anyway, we'll tell awesome. you more about that in a minute. Okay, let's start desserts. Now, it's actually National Dessert Day here, but yeah. I think the global world kind of wanted to up us one, and it's National International Chocolate Day. Oh. So we got you covered on both both yes. sides right now. So I'm going to start with Kenny and Ziggy's. Kenny and Ziggy's always known for great food. Everything they do, they do big. I was right? going to say that big ginormous sandwich that yes. they have. Yes, yes. You yes. know what? I've actually been in the kitchen of Kenny and Ziggy's watching their team make these, and they oh. stuff those apples in there. Five pounds, Derek. There are five pounds of apples in that pie. If you'd like to taste it, you can. It's just delicious. Heck yeah. Glazed with sugar, Chicken. and it's a Thank sugar you. syrup. Look at those. You can see all I the apples. I want to dive in there. into Five the apples. Pounds. Go for I'm it. going in here. I'm going I'm going for the apples. Wow, and they're thinly sliced. Yeah. I mean, it's that could be a meal in itself, I think. Like a big giant volcano apple pie. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. It's good. Not now, too sugary. Very apple-y. No, it's, it's very good. good. I mean, Thanksgiving, holidays, this is the place like, to go. It doesn't have much filler in it. It just has the apples, It's all about nice. the apples, the cinnamon, yeah. And well, how much butter. is this uh, pie, by the way? $500. Oh, no. dear. <laughs> oh, my. No, it's not. Everything you can and Ziggy's is reasonable. Of course not. No, it'd, it'd be a perfect holiday go-to to take home. Put your order in, yeah. Up. Get okay. your order in. What else you got? Okay, Sylvia. Sylvia's, we all know she does all these incredible enchiladas. I love her restaurants. This is her Tres Leches cake. She came up oh, with this. Yum. She was looking for a really amazing Valentine's Day dessert. It's a chocolate Tres Leches. So dive in on Can that one. Too? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. I'm just going in. Look wow. at the dark chocolate in there. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's dark chocolate on the inside. So we are talking heavy-duty oh, chocolate. Wow. That's so good. Isn't that good? And okay. I love that it's drizzled in chocolate on the top, too. Yeah, it's good stuff. Okay, from Canopy, is this not the ultimate candy bar cake? It's and beautiful. that's what it's called, a candy bar cake. The pastry chef, Julie Hewitt, was dating a guy that loved candy bars, and she wanted to really impress him. So she patterned it after <laughs> the millionaire cake, if you Seriously? all remember that. Like yeah. <laughs> through the whole thing of the way to a guy's heart is through his stomach. This must and have been quite a guy, huh? It is so good. There's a layer of chocolate ganache in there. There's a layer of caramel. All just Holy cow. And the cookie crunch this that you get so inside. Cool okay, it's fantastic. In. Okay, and I don't want to run out of time because this is to die for too. This over here is a Shiner Bach chocolate mousse cake. It is from Third Coast. Third Coast is now what's what we all know Trevisio as out in the uh, MD Anderson area, but Third Coast is the incarnation. It's a beautiful seafood restaurant, very cool venue. So, does that have beer in it? Shiner Bach in it. Yes. Really? Ooh. Good, Can isn't you taste it? The very, beer? very subtle. Yeah, it's, it's very, very subtle. subtle, but it's there. So you know, I'm, I'm saving my bite of the candy bar cake um, to have it with one of these delicious, fabulous oh, drinks that well, you brought us to. <laughs> I've got you covered on that one as well. Okay, this is a true champagne. It's called Janison and Feast. This is the real deal from uh, France. It's a beautiful, beautiful champagne. And this one is winning all kinds of awards. Less than $50 a bottle. It's really? It's really a good bargain. Yeah. H-E-B, friends, thank you for turning me on to this. I oh, love wow. it. So you guys can try that. I gave you traditional and champagne, champagne glasses. champagne itself only comes from France, right? Everything else is yes. sparkling. Yes. If it's not uh, from France, from the Champagne region, it's sparkling. And then this is a Prosecco. Ooh. Oh, quite nice. nice. This is also a dry Prosecco. You know, Proseccos can be sweet or they can be dry. I kind of tend to like the dry ones. But I like the dry ones, too. too. Too sweet is yeah. too sweet. This Wait. is the Prima Mazzo, <laughs> and uh, it too, this is less than $20. And, you know, this one may be less than what I told you. I think these are both in that less than $20 range. Anyway, this was Prima Mazzo, H-E-B. It's wonderful. And, Tangie, I love that you find so many great deals uh, and then take us all over from Houston to San Antonio to Austin do. down into your the valley on your show. Your show is fantastic. It is oh, so good. You. Seriously, if you guys haven't seen the show, it airs Saturday mornings. Sunday mornings. Sunday mornings, 5.30 a.m. We've got a full screen graphic up. 
reminding folks what to do to set their DVR. Yeah, we'll take you to restaurants all over the area, Houston, Austin, San Antonio. If you missed any of the episodes or our first season, you can catch it online at goodtaste.tv. And we've got some great, wonderful food ideas on Click to Houston, too. Yes. So look for the Good Taste venue on Click to Houston And on as your well. show, everything from barbecue to wine to desserts. Oh, right. yeah, we're, we're taking you everywhere. Thank you so much. We love Cheers. having you. Love being All here. right. Now, if you have a gluten or dairy allergy, we can't let you miss out on the fun of National Dessert Day. So Houston Life reporter Stephanie Gonzalez has a treat for you. Happy National Dessert Day. For those of you who are gluten-free and or dairy-free, we have not forgotten about you. I'm here with Letty. She's the owner of Letty's Gluten-Free Bakery. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Yeah, and I'm looking at this right now and this looks amazing. How did you get started? My husband is the one to blame, really. <laughs> he was diagnosed with celiac disease about five years ago. And that's when I started experimenting with um, baking gluten-free. How long have you been doing this for? About four years. Four years. Uh -huh. and I saw that there was a big need for really custom couture cakes. Wedding cakes, sculpted cakes, and I didn't see anybody that was really offering that in terms of dedicated gluten-free. So I decided to specialize in doing just cakes and cupcakes. Well, tell me a little bit about this. This is a amaretto cake, which is my most popular flavor. It's it's the number one. It's amaretto cake with a chocolate raspberry buttercream filling, and we're gonna do a chocolate ganache drip on top. Okay. And then we're gonna have fun adding sprinkles and chocolate candy and cookies. And I see all of these goodies. So everything here is gluten free. Yes. That is so yeah. Cool. Let's get started. It smells so good. <laughs> then I'll pipe some just chocolate buttercream. Okay. We'll do, let's see, maybe one of these wafer cookies. Work in progress. Oh yeah. I made this from scratch myself. <laughs> I wish, I wish. So cool. Yeah. So let's talk about these cupcakes that are staring yeah, so at me. Yeah, so let's pipe some cupcakes. Let's start from the center and move your way around it. See, there you go. Let's do M&M's. Yum, looks good. Good job. I couldn't have done it without you. <laughs> these are so pretty. Awesome. All right, so. so now time to eat. <laughs> yes, thank you so much for joining us. We're so happy to have you on the show. Whether you're gluten-free or you're not, make sure to check out Letty's Gluten-Free Bakery. So let's try this. Okay, I'm so excited. So good. Wow, so nice. So it's pretty good. and delicious. Yes. All right, so coming up next, we are making homemade ice cream in honor of National Dessert Day. We'll tell you about some very unexpected flavors right after this break. <laughs> 